welcome back to Kayla PA. Um, I'm actually on my way to my PA school interview. Um, I got a call two weeks ago. I was like sleeping and I woke up to a message um, from a, a university and they told me that they want me to come in for an interview. So of course, it was like 4.30 when I heard the message. I called them immediately because you know, most places close at five. So I called um, the lady immediately and set up the interview for tomorrow, um, which is like two weeks later. So I mean, with these interviews, you really don't get that much time to prepare. So um, I'm just glad that I've been preparing for years, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm like, I'm driving, it's out of state. Um, it's like seven hours and 45 minutes away. Um, I was gonna take the airplane, but I mean, it was too expensive. So I was like, it's best that I drive. And my sister here with me. <laughs> Um, but I'm excited about this. I mean, this is like a long time coming. Like I've been working really hard for like the last four and a half, five years for this. Um, so, you know, I'm just really fortunate for this opportunity and, um, I'm just going to kill it. Like I'm going to turn into freaking Halle Berry <laughs> in this interview. Um, and I will keep you guys posted. Um, this is like the part of the journey where I feel like, okay, I'm making progress, okay? I'm almost there. Um, so I'm excited about it. And um, yeah, so keep following me on my journey, guys. I'm almost there. black outside we've been driving for like what um, eight hours and we're just like sitting here practicing go ahead ask me something so why should why should we choose you to be a part of the PA program well um, you should choose me because I'm fully invested in the PA profession Okay guys, so um, at the hotel, um, we finally got here. It took us like eight hours and we got here around 10.45ish. Uh, so it is late, it's you know dark. And my sister actually got pulled over. <laughs> she was speeding. And this lady told um, the officer that she was headed to the hospital. <laughs> um, yeah, so she gave her a warning <laughs> but um you know this city is like different from what i'm used to but i really don't care about where i get in i'm just like you know what you know if it's a good school and you know it's able to teach me what i need to know then hey you know i'm i'm all for it i can handle two years um and i mean throughout the ride we've been like really just doing like a mock interview she's like asking me questions and you know i'm just answering it how i would um tomorrow for the interview and i think something that's been really helpful is just remembering bullet points and not really remembering 
what I'm going to say word for word. Um, for example, if they ask me, why do I want to be a PA? I mean, people have different answers. If your answer is the lateral mobility, um, the work-life balance, and that it's a growing field, you know, those are my three bullet points. I mean, I can always elaborate on what I mean, but as long as I remember those three bullet points, I'm good because I know during the interview, I'm not going to freeze up and not know what to say. I'll know, okay, well, these are my three points and I just got to find a way to make those points. And I'm going to try and answer them between like 40 to 60 seconds. So just like a minute or less. You know, I'm not, so, sometimes I ramble, like sometimes I watch my YouTube videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> like the earlier ones, you know, I, I pick up on my mistake. Like I look at um, like my videos and I'm like, okay, I say um a lot or I say like a lot or, you know, I just look at, you know, I say, you know, a lot. So I try and catch myself and just like practice and make sure I'm using other words. Uh, so YouTube is, has been a big help for that. And I, I mean, if you're at home, you can definitely like record yourself on camera. I use my phone to like record myself, um, talking about, um, I mean, I use my phone to record myself, um, answering these questions and I just listen to it over and over again. And that's also been helpful. Um, so tonight I'm just going to really focus on like the main questions that they ask during like a PA school interview. Uh, what is a PA? Why do you want to go to our school? You know, tell us some facts that you know about our school. Um, why should we choose you? Um, what is your greatest weakness? Um, your greatest strength? Tell me about a situation where you were, it, tell me about a stressful situation and how did you handle it? Um, did I say, why do you want to be a PA? That's a big one. Um, and just like the general questions, like, of course, they're going to want to know these things. And, you know, what sets you apart from different, from all the other applicants? You know, what set, sets you apart? And just know, like, what, just know yourself, basically. Um, I'm saying this, like, I've already been through it. But, I mean, from what I've seen from watching other videos, it just, it seems helpful just, to know yourself, know who you are, and just be authentic. You know, I'm going to try and make, not really go out my way to make them laugh. Like, I'm just going to be me, and they will laugh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm just going to review and try and get some sleep, get up, um, get ready for, uh, just get some breakfast really early, because um, I, I don't want to go there and, like, my stomach's growling or anything. Um, and you know, I'm not great with time, so I'm going to definitely leave out really early and I'll keep you guys updated. Okay. Something else that went over really quick, um, are some current issues in the PA profession. You know, I looked up on a few things, uh, just so I know what's, you know, what's going on in the profession. And also, um, I looked up like ethical questions like, okay, what would you do if you were caught cheating or, or if, excuse me, if your friend was, was caught cheating, what would you do? Or if, um, you saw someone taking meds, um, unauthorized meds, like what would you do? So I've just been going over those questions and, um, right now I'm just about to go to bed. I mean, you see what I have on my head, so you already know what time it is. <laughs> Okay, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, so um, I'm about to get ready. I could hardly sleep last night. Um, like, I slept from like 11 to like around 3 and I really couldn't sleep the rest of the time. It's probably like um, 11.30 a.m. right now. Um, but I, I think that's because I work at night. My body's just not used to sleeping at night. Um, but, I mean, I reviewed a lot of stuff um, this morning, and um, I had my sister, like, go downstairs and get us some breakfast. Um, and I'm just going to get ready right now, and um, the school is actually, like, one minute away, <laughs> which is weird. 
because I'm like, okay, God was like looking out for me because he knows like I'm always late. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get ready and um, make sure that I'm on time this morning. Okay, so this is my breakfast. Um, I didn't want to eat anything that's going to upset my stomach. Um, so I just got the fruits and the fries. My sister got that and the mashed potatoes. Um, and I'm just going to drink some water because I just don't need anything um, making me want to use the bathroom. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is breakfast. This is all my makeup stuff. Um, about to get ready. I really like this perfume. It's called Alien. It smells so good. And this is um, Chanel Mademoiselle. These are like my two favorites. Um, I'm not sure I'll wear lipstick because you know when your mouth gets dry and your lipstick starts to like cake up and stuff and look weird. Probably just wear lip gloss. And yeah, so about to get ready. Okay, so about to iron my suit. Um, I got this suit from Target. It was like uh, $34.99. And I'm not sure what company it is. Whatever that company is. And I got my pants from Ross. Um, Calvin Klein. And this was $27.99. So they're both not really um, bad prices. I didn't want to go broke trying to like buy a suit for this um, for this interview because I feel like you can still buy things stuff that look really nice on a budget. So um, yeah, that's what I did. Now I'm about to get ready. Mm -hmm. You're gonna ask about that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we noticed you have a few D's. <laughs> I don't have no few D's. I only had one. Okay. <laughs> So we know you have a, a F here. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Elaborate on that don't jack my eyebrows up. I don't want no thick freaking unibrow. Yes, you already see how. Okay. It For why you want a BPA, just think like within yourself. Like you've always been fascinated by medicine, so don't confuse that. As long as you like really think of what they're asking you, start there. You've been fascinated by medicine. You did your research. You knew without a shadow of doubt this is what you want to do. You love the upper mobility, the camaraderie between the PAs, and you want to help your sick patients. Okay, um, it's getting closer and closer to that time that I have to check out the hotel. Um, they did extend it for me, like I was supposed to check out at 11 a.m., but they're giving me until 1 p.m. The interview's at 2.15. I'm I'm nervous. I'm I'm honestly nervous, but I mean, mm -hmm. I've been preparing for this for a very long time, so I don't know which, how Would much more I could do. Right so I mean, the best thing I could do right now is just not get nervous or let my nerves get the best of me. You know, I need to go in there and put on a Halle Berry Beyonce performance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Why should we choose you to be part of this PA program? Why? Why should they choose me again? <laughs> it's so it feels so weird that this thing is actually happening. I feel like it's it doesn't feel real right now. It feels like a dream. Um, but <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Ooh, my lord. I guess like as long as I look good, I'll feel confident. And I mean, I feel like I'm a, I'm kind of charming. <laughs> Like, as long as I'm like bubbly and I laugh a lot, you know, and not act stupid, um, I can probably win them over like that, you know. And I mean, I've been practicing a lot and I feel like this is just gonna flow off my tongue. Even if I freeze up, I feel like it's, it's gonna just flow because I've been like practicing. <sighs> it's bacon time. I'm gonna have some more bacon to put it on. <laughs> It's good to have a family member or a friend or someone come along because if I was here by myself, I would have been losing my mind <laughs> or have been screaming on the phone or something. <laughs> like I could scream in person. 
<laughs> and that you're here. <sighs> okay, I have 15, 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes to get out of here. Come on, let's go. At least my eyebrows look good. Oh, now they look good. Now they look good. They don't look like a unibrow. Ready. Um, we're in the car headed to the school. It's like, it it's yeah, <laughs> it's like right across Daddy. the street. Ooh, <laughs> it's like right across the street from um, where we're staying. Should we park right here? Yeah, you could just park here. Um, okay, so we're here okay. and we have like an hour and 15 minutes to spare. So I guess I one thing I can't say is that I was late. You know, that was like my biggest fear. Um, I mean, it feels like surreal that this moment is happening. It's like I kind of feel nervous, but I kind of don't only because I just want to get it out the way. Like this has been a long time coming, worked really hard to get to this point. So, you know, I'm excited about it and hopefully they're nice and not too like intimidating. But either way, as I said earlier, I'm going to put on that Halle Berry performance. Okay. And I'm glad my sister's here. You know, she got these eyebrows together. <laughs> Shut up. Don't ruin my video. Um, yeah, but um, I'll show y'all, like, how I look, like, the final look. I'm just going to sit here in this AC so I don't start, like, sweating and stuff. You know, we don't want that. So, um, yeah. I'm going to kill this, right? I'm going to kill it. You are you. You're prepared for this. You're going to kill it. I'm like you probably it. done more work than all these people in here. Okay. Yeah. Keep keep. You've done everything possible in order to prepare yourself for this. Mm -hmm. When you know the Oprah quote, the Oprah quote. What is it? Opportunity is when preparation mm -hmm. meets. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Success is when opportunity meets preparation, right? No, I don't think that's what it no, is. No, no, six, yeah, success is opportunity um, meeting preparation. You prepared for it, you got the opportunity. Yeah, and that's, whatever yeah. it is. So, like, you met to this point. Yes. It's come to you. This is my year, though. I have to do this because I can't be a tech for another year. Yeah. I already put in three years. This is all you, boo. This is my dream. I have to go get it can't be intimidated by anyone um, I have to be the queen that I am okay if I could just remember all this stuff I'll be okay <sighs> okay I can do this I can do this I can do this I'm not I know but you know you know your stuff oh gosh, okay I know my stuff you I do. know my stuff I do okay this is all for you <gasps> it's all for me like, do you want to be cleaning behind? Shut up! Do you want to be cleaning behind? <laughs> it's either that okay. or clean behind. Okay, yes. So get it together. Get it together. You got this. I got this. Or you're going to be cleaning behind for the rest of your life. I don't want to do that. You don't. I don't. You don't. Okay. All right. So let's get it together. Let's get it together. I got this. So why do you want to be a PA? Why? Well... <laughs> Okay, let me get it together. All right. So, um, I've always been enthralled by medicine. We're doing big words in there now. That's not what we practice, but okay. Okay. <laughs> um, initially, you know, I was very confused about what I wanted to do um, in medicine. But once I found the PA profession, I knew that this was my calling in life. And um, I've done the research and I love the lateral mobility, the great work-life balance. And I just feel like it's a growing um, profession. In the next couple of years, um, it's going to expand um, exponentially. exponentially. That was my word. I have to remember that. That's a good word. Okay, so it's going to expand exponentially. And I want to be a part of that, um, that field. And also, it's just something I think about every single day. 
and I'm always trying to better myself um, so that I'm able to get the opportunity to care for my sick patients mm -hmm. and just make a positive impact on their lives. So why should we choose you to be a part of this program? Well, um, you should choose me because I'm fully invested in the PA profession. Everything that I've been doing um, for the past five, six years has been um, really like me bettering myself so that I will get the, the opportunity to matriculate into PA school and eventually become a PA. Yes, yes, hunty, yes. <laughs> I love how we just throw big words in there now. <laughs> And also, um, I fully understand the program's mission statement. And I oh, with them, not get to mop up the floor, isn't it? I need to mop up the floor. Yes. Let's go. Yes. If you want to be APA, let me know. Let me know. Okay, let me get my suit on. So we're ready. We have about 20 minutes until her interview. Okay guys, um, so my PA school interview is like over and done with. Um, it was like about two hours and uh, it was nerve wracking at first, but I really liked this school. Like I really loved the energy. Everyone was nice. Um, I initially like we met like some of the students and they just like showed us around. And then we had um, interviews with like different staff members. Um, and I mean, honestly, everything I studied, I think basically um, showed up on the, ex not the exam, but the interview, like, you know, all the questions I went over um, showed up on the interview. And one thing that I would say is make sure you know your application because they, they asked me for like examples of like, um, let's, let's say my shadowing experience, like when you shadow this person give me an example of a patient that you saw and I mean I did freeze up a little bit on one one um, scenario but honestly I just came up with something and um, yeah so definitely make sure you know like your application because they will they asked me about my essay they really like my essay and um, so just make sure you remember everything about it and yeah, I mean it. It wasn't bad. Like it, I was nervous at nervous at first, but they're really nice, and I really love their energy. And hopefully, I can go to the school. You know, I can see myself being a student here. Um, and I mean, one of the person that interviewed me said that I did a good job. So hopefully, um, I would hear something back soon. So we're gonna drive eight hours to to um, our hometown now. So. Oh, I'm just relieved that it's over. It's you know I felt like it was successful and yeah I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so I change and we're like heading um, heading home right now, but first I have to stub my face. This food looks so good and that shrimp is like it's the real deal. Look at this grits. Oh my gosh, maybe I will like it here after all. <laughs> Try again, 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 try again,